Hello everyone, today we're going on a fascinating journey to Tanzania in Africa to explore how the diet of the Hadza, one of the last hunter-gatherer tribes, affects their gut microbes through the seasons. Get ready to see how what we eat directly impacts the tiny creatures living inside us. The Hadza are really unique because their lifestyle has remained largely unchanged for thousands of years. Unlike us, their diet changes with the seasons, and this has a huge effect on their gut microbiota, which is the community of microbes living in their intestines. In the dry season, the Hadza diet is rich in meat, baobab fruit, and tubers. Come the wet season, it shifts to more berries, honey, and baobabs. This isn't just a small change. It's a complete diet shift that literally happens every single year and every single season. Researchers from Stanford University discovered that these dietary changes lead to significant shifts in the Hadza's gut microbiota. Certain microbes that help digest the fibrous foods of the dry season decrease during the wet season when the diet is less fibrous and more sugary due to the honey consumption. What's truly astonishing is the diversity. The Hadza's gut microbiomes are far more varied than what we see in urban, industrialized settings. And this diversity is linked to the fibrous, natural foods they consume, which is way, way higher than the typical Western diet that you or me would have. Just think about it. The average Hadza consumes over 100 grams of fiber daily while most of us get about 15 grams on average. That is such a huge difference because fiber isn't just good for digestion. It feeds the beneficial microbes in our guts. Want to boost your gut health? You, then you should try adding some more fiber-rich foods like whole grains, fruits, and vegetables to your diet. It's a step towards nurturing your own microbiota, much like the Hadza. As our modern lifestyle changes, so does our microbiota, sometimes not for the better. The Hadza teach us really valuable lessons about the importance of our diet in maintaining our gut health and diversity. Let's take a leaf out of their book and think about more what we eat. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey today. And if you enjoyed this exploration into the lives of the Hadza and the wonders of our microbiome, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. See you next time for more health and science insights.